So today we're going to be looking at how to find slope from a graph. Slope is rise over run, which we've spoken about in the past, is also known as the change in y over the change in x. Rise always goes up or down, and run goes left or right. And when we're looking at finding slope, I want you to keep in mind we will be dealing with that equation, y equals mx plus b, and m is the slope. So if we're looking at these graphs down here, I want you to recognize that this graph has a little bit of a, a negative slope. And what we want to do is find two points on that graph that cross exactly through a point where we could graph that as a point on our graph, a coordinate point. And I can draw a triangle showing the rise and the run. So when I come back up here to my definition, I want you to think about the slope rise part is the height of our triangle, how high up it goes. Or it could be upside down and go down. The run is going to be this part across, and so we're looking at the width of the triangle. And that would be this line here that goes across. So when we're looking for a rise or our slope from a graph, we want to count spaces and not lines. You'll see what I mean by that when we start going down onto the graph and counting our pathway. You always want to reduce or simplify if possible. So if I end up with a slope that might be 4 over 8, I might look and see if there was another point on the graph that I missed that might be able to be reduced and find me a different spot. And ask yourself, what would Slope Dude do? Or what would Slope Dude say? What would Slope Dude say? Because that'll help us determine right away when I look at this line, I'm seeing that it's a nice negative. So you'll see here, nice negative. What's my rise? I'm counting from 0 here to 1, 2. That's where I'm counting my spaces, not my lines. So it's a rise of 2. And my run is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 spaces. So I have 2 over 6. I'm going to go back to this point here. Always reduce or simplify if possible. Well, this can be reduced to 1 over 3. But don't forget it was a negative, so we need to make sure we put our negative sign in front of both of those. I want you to try that with these others. Well, we can do it real quick. Look at this. What would Slope Dude say? He would say 0. It's 0 fun. That means the slope here, or the m, is equal to 0. What about this one down here? If it's going up or down, Slope Dude says that curse word in math, which is undefined. So this slope is undefined. It doesn't exist. It's straight up and down. There's no slope. And finally, if I find two points on this line, I'm going to notice it's a puff puff positive. My triangle can come this way, and I'm looking at a rise of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and a run of 2, which can be reduced down to 3 over 1. So you could simply say the slope here is 3, or 3 over 1. Okay. Uh, you guys are going to practice this on a worksheet with some problems. Make sure you notice it's front and back, and um, email me questions if you want. I'm here in the building. I'm just not in class today.